what's up everybody it's nerf here and um we're gonna play a ranked match today uh not an amazing starting hand but i think i'm gonna keep it because of the humans and the witch doctor uh i'm gonna sacrifice the brainless because i really like the two three four five six curve so, I mean, I would like that brainless to get rid of, like, yeah, the, uh, uh, the better. But it should be okay. I might put the blight bearer down because it's a human. But now nah, I'm gonna go with the rod eater. Obviously, not this turn. But next turn. Interesting, Zadrum is setting up down here because that means he can't, like, it's hard for him to engage me. So that's good, I guess. Um, let's see. Man, the meta's getting really stale. I really hope the waypoints comes out sometime soon. Hopefully we don't have to wait much longer. That'd be kind of disappointing. Okay, so it's looking pretty good for us. I mean, he's going to get probably some uh, ramp with that Vengeful Vetter, because he'll probably hit the Idols on Because I don't have a Soul Steel or a Languid in my hand. I sacrifice... Oh, what's the heck? What the heck is Zadrim doing? Holy cow. <laughs> and Blood Boil is... Chrome Boil is increased equals to the cost of Blood Boil. That's replenished. Yeah, I knew that. And then he untainted it. Stag it. Alright, well. Uh, maybe he forgot we were Decay and... Yeah, maybe he forgot we were Decay and Damning Curse is a thing. I don't know. I'm actually gonna move, um... Put the Hunter in front because I want to keep that... Even though Darkling's not good, I want to keep it alive for when the Witch Doctor's out so then I have awesome protection. It's a really nice curve. Okay, it's kind of unstoppable when it gets these curves. Rat King. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna wait until I get a damn curse. Hopefully, it's soon. Like if I draw a damn curse this turn, I'm gonna use it and sacrifice life seal. Come on, damn curse. Nope. Oh well. And I guess. I'm going to put the life sealer down here and move all you guys up. I would like, I would love to destroy that rat. Whatever. He actually has really nice open shots in my idols right now. So that could be bad. Um, sister. Let's see. So is he going to do the six damage or is he going to draw an enchantment and get an even more attack? So the thing is, Dag Heart. Blood boil and untainted, okay. So, okay, uh we're just gonna go ahead and say that life sealer is probably gonna die. <laughs> um Yeah, it's dead. Wow. I would really like to get Return to Nature would be so awesome. <laughs> it sucks that it's not in this deck. Uh we're actually kinda worried here. Yeah, I am really worried. Um, actually, he can't kill that lifesteal as it stands. Because he put that sister of the fox there, so he can't squeeze. He can't squeeze the units in there unless he has an enchantment or a veteran, then he'd easily be able to destroy it. But it's good he's not able to destroy it just by normally moving around. It's always a plus if he has to use a scroll to, uh, Destroy it. And we are top decking now, and he's not. And he is insane stuff on the board. But once those vetters go away, hopefully they will soon. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. And as long as he doesn't get a lucky rumble, we should be okay. Oh. He's running binding roots. I got really scared there for a second. 
Surprised he didn't put it on like the Witch Doctor was a much more impor important thing in this matchup. But then again, the Witch Doctor is probably doing its job of just staying right there. Because that's a pretty central position on the board. It's like touching a lot of tiles. So if it was binary right there, that would be okay for me. Okay, well, fine. I guess that's stuck there. Um, and we're going to have to sacrifice that. Um... I guess I'll move down. Let's see, right now we have, let's see, four, three, six. If he's a crimson, oh, if he's a god hand in his hand, ouch. We're gonna stay right where we are. Yeah. I'm gonna stay put. Okay. Luckily, this is four health, so I don't think a god hand's gonna kill our witch doctor, or even or even damage it. Yeah. So he sacrificed scrolls, maybe because he knew it wasn't gonna do anything. Okay. So now, come on. Give me a necker and next turn would probably kill a lot of stuff. Well, it kill. Of course, it would kill a lot of creatures in this war. But what I wanted to. Alright. So now we need basically two damage curses. Um. Yeah, like if this if he was facing any other faction besides the right now, he'd have the game sealed up. Like even like it used to be energy could deal with the uh, violent dispersals and all that, but now violent dispersal since the nerf, it just doesn't deal with the oak blooded wildlings anymore. But who knew that would ever be a thing? Um, so this is pretty good. He leaves his stuff kind of open now. Tribesman's DC. Oh, this is pretty good draw. Okay, so. So, okay, so we can't kill this wildling. We can't kill this mystic. Um, I want to kill as many things as possible. So let's move up. Kill the rat. Put a trisman right here. Kill you. Move you here. You don't move. And then I'll soul steal either this brave or this better. I'm going to soul steal the brave. I don't have to worry about a god hand this turn, also, because you won't have enough resources. So I'll soul steal you. And it kind of sucks you ended up right there, but at least you'll be able to buff the rat eater. And there we go. And if this thing survives another turn, my witch doctor can move down again. Then with part of the witch doctor, like, packed. So as you can see, like, Decay vs. Growth is a very lopsided fight. Like, I, I'm i probably ahead in this match right now, and he got such a nice start. But then again, I did have a perfect curve. Like, if I didn't have an early Witch Doctor, then he would have won this game. Okay, more Rat Kings. I'm just going to kill all those little creatures when I can. I mean, I kind of have to. I mean, Quake won't hurt me that much if he starts to Quake. Even, like, after I kill all those, like, little guys, he starts to Quake me, it wouldn't hurt that much. I have, I have Witch Doctor, Rod Eater, I'm probably gonna get Harvester soon. So we'll sacrifice the Watcher, um, next turn, most likely. Binding Root on the Rod Eater. Okay, so now we have two things Binding Rooted. Interesting choice of scroll. So it looks like he's going to destroy the Idol. Okay, so he destroys one Idol. And destroys the Darkling. Another Soul Sass, a good draw, and a Damning Curse and a Witch Doctor. Okay. Uh, we. Well, we frankly just. We can't really kill stuff this turn, so I guess I'll have to. I got a Damning Curse something. I'll Damning Curse. I can't even Damning Curse you on Yeah, I better Damning Curse this before it gets untainted. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. So let's get rid of that when I can. I wish you. I wish I could play something else on the turn, but oh well. And do I curse you so that you're untainted? So I'm gonna curse you. Maybe he'll like. Um... Yeah. Maybe he's gonna forget that it had its curse and he's gonna draw a spell. That'd be awesome. Okay. 
So now there's a lot of rats, you know, it's pretty standard here. If he's a ragged wolf or something, a veteran, he can kill that curse monger in the back there, which would be annoying because curse mongers are really good. And I want to keep the, uh, I want to keep the amount of humans. Okay. Oh boy. So are you going to one shot that idol? And maybe he's going to be like, maybe he's going to one shot that idol and hope for like a lucky rumble veteran later in the game. Because now that I see that idol's dead, oh boy. We can't soul steal that. This is a very, I like seeing new decks like this in ranked. Like this is, like I was just talking about the meta stale. Like it's fun to see new decks like this, like so far into the meta. Um, so that's fun. Uh, we can soul steal this. Witch doctor is good. What the witch doctor? Um... Let's go ahead and actually sacrifice the Witch Doctor though, because I want to play both of these things. Two Soul Steals is pretty good for the coming turns. So, um. How are we gonna do this? I wanna take my Harvester back here. Uh, it's kind of hard. Sadly, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice this curse monger. And now I'm going to soul steal this. And may as well not let you die. And I'll just steal damage to an idol. Okay. Now that that harvester's there, I don't. Unless he's able to destroy it this turn. He, if he has a crimson bull here, he would destroy it. So I'm not out of the not out of the woods yet. He can still win this game. A few more turns with me surviving would really seal the deal on my win. Even his idols are pretty low now. I don't know how it got low. I guess because my creatures were all like binding rooted, I just started hitting idols a lot. Um, maybe a Crimson Bull is going for middle idol? Maybe? If they have a Crimson Bull, he could either kill the Witch Doctor or the Harvester. I kind of regret sacrificing that Witch Doctor. I really should never do that for growth, but I really wanted to get the Soul Steel and the Harvester out. But again, that could be a fine play because the Harvester is going to start wrecking havoc. It is annoying, this, uh, this Rod Eater back here. Binding Root right in the middle of things. So this guy, this guy, uh, Celestial, he's out of the way. So, Zedrim is playing a Binding Root, uh, uh, Untainted, Blood Boil, Aggro Growth kind of thing. Seems like it could work. <laughs> Probably not against uh, Mono Decay. At, at this point, Democurses won't really help because that thing's untainted. Okay. So my Harvest is going to attack, but he is going to kill the Witch Doctor. And I guess I'll destroy that middle row. Let's see, Damon Curse doesn't really do much. Uh, so let's see. Where do I destroy it? Actually, yeah, I'm going to Soul Steal. Well, you're cursed. So if I move up, will you just kill both of you? So that's, then you'll have six after killing that, and that will kill you. Yeah. So you're both dead if I just do that. But I do want to kill that brave. I think I don't. I think the earthworm mystic is more important than the brave, though. Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice the damage curse. There's another witch doctor, and that's good. Um, so we're gonna move up. and kill you we are going to i guess he's not anywhere close to god hands if he has in the deck now so i'm not too worried about that uh i need to take care of that somehow 
I'm gonna put down a blight pair and I'm going to soul steal the wolf and I'm moving it back just in case I want the rod to be buffed and that'll be my turn so that gets rid of that thing and I think we're much safer now and hopefully, I mean, if he kills the Black Bear, it probably is okay for us because that thing's gonna get poisoned and be pretty good. But I almost don't want him to kill the Black Bear so I can have a human in front of the Witch Doctor when I put it out. Because I don't want to put out a Bear Witch Doctor where he can just pick off. Gotta watch out for like a Rumble Veteran or a Rumble Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull or something like that. But currently his resources are not high enough. Okay, um... So he's gonna destroy both of those, maybe? Wildling. Hmm. Idols are low. Idols are very low. And Necrogen from us does not win the game, but it sure comes close. Okay, so you survive, and that's good. Uh, going to sacrifice the language. And now, what do I do? What do I do? It isn't looking that good. Move you down. I need you to move down. You know what? I'm just going to place down a, uh, a life stealer. Uh, the witch doctor, I don't want to put down just yet. But it's gonna, it's gonna be hard to actually win this game. He's not really slowing down. I'm sure he has oak bloods, untainted, untainted, and all that stuff in his hand right now. It'd be interesting if he has a rumble when he's gonna do it. If he has a rumble right now, he has a chance at winning the game. Okay, so it doesn't look like he's gonna do the rumble play this turn. He might, but not probably not after moving his units. So let's see. What's gonna happen? What is going to happen? Um, another mystic that bothers me a little bit. So that kills the life stealer, and that's it. That's pretty good. That's his play. That'd be awesome. Okay, good. It's always able to do so we're gonna be able to poison stuff always a good thing um, we're gonna poison this row so then you actually die in two turns unless he has like an ult but that would suck um yeah i'm gonna poison this row and i want to get the witch doctor out to get the buff there but then again i don't want to do that Oh, this is not the best situation to be in. Um, let's go ahead and languid and oblivion seeker, I think. I need to have a human I could really put in front of the witch doctor. Yeah, I'm gonna languid. No, languid wouldn't even do anything though, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to sacrifice her resources and play the oblivion seeker. So, am I going to leave this idol open? I almost think I am. No, I really can't. Ugh, or do I? He's already enchanted, so... I'm leaving it open. I mean, hope he doesn't have like a double Crimson Bowl and he was going to win. <sighs> okay. Come on. Tars is attacking next turn. He probably is going to be able to kill the Harsh this turn if he doesn't do all this stuff. Crap. This these binary guys this rot eater back here i need him for like protection up front that'd be awesome 
He's really not doing much right back there. I know he's 726, but he's killing two health rats. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like my horse is gonna die. Brilliant Veil. Okay, and I don't have a humans button, but but this is dead. The Brave is dead. <laughs> Which is really good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And hopefully this is all that's his pull play good. And we get more scrolls. I'm getting necro good. So. Um Ooh, Dark One is good. Uh yeah, that's actually really good what just happened there. Because now I can go ahead. There's no point using these languages because he has two Earth or Mystics, and this one is not going anywhere for the time being. Now I can go like that. Perfect. Because I could play a Wakima in front of the Witch Doctor. Um, so those are dead. He, hopefully he doesn't have a Rumble, and he can't like just like win the game. Hopefully he's not lucky with a Rumble play. I would like this Darkling to be on this road to break that up, but whatever. We need to protect. We're in protect mode. Slowly clawing our way in this game. He was just... He was just flying early in the game. He was just filling out the board, but then I got the Witch Doctor out, so I just slowly started to clump up. But then he broke into the clump. Wasn't expecting a break into the clump. You, you usually don't get people breaking into the clump. Um, but regardless, it happened. Um, you know, this guy, he's been worth it. This Bounty guy, he's, he's knocked on an idol by himself. And, uh, he's protecting this idol. And now that thing's scary. I can't damage curse those things. But we can win this turn. So, that's GG. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, so hopefully he doesn't protect his idols. Is, is he just realizing that I could have a Necro gun? But then what's he gonna do? Like, he can't really protect that as much as all his idols are pretty low besides that 10 health idol down there. Yeah, so probably GG. Even if it wasn't GG, I'd be able to kill all this stuff almost. But then he would probably just quake if he has quakes in the deck. But I have a feeling he doesn't have quakes in the deck. Okay, so maybe he is going to protect. Oh no, it's still GG. Oh no, it's not because he kills that. It's not GG. Nope, it's not GG. It's not GG. If I Necrogeddon, I am able to kill the two biggest threats, but then I'll leave this idol really open. Let's not do that. Let's keep the Necrogeddon, though. Um, it's a pretty good draw. Uh, I, I wish I could play both humans, but I don't have enough resources for that. So... We're gonna destroy this wildling, which is good. Put you in front of there. Get this Oblivion Seeker out. Probably gonna, you're gonna die anyways. And play a... Rot Eater. Back here. I don't think there's much of a point in having him up there. Honestly. Because I don't think he's breaking through, but he's gonna win the game. I think it'll be a, not on this nine health idol. So I don't think I want the brother up there. I'd rather have some extra, at least two units down here. There's the Rat King. That's kind of hard because I can't win with an easy necro then. Okay. So you're gonna move down and finally kill this. Uh... No, you're moving up. Okay. So are you gonna? Is that thing finally gonna die? Oh no, it's GG. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Well played. That was a good match, though. Oh, I probably lost a lot of uh, rating from that. One quick question. Oh, I should have seen that. Crimson Bowl GG there. I guess... I should... Actually, nothing I could have done would have prevented that GG, right? Yes, but I didn't. So it's a good play by him protecting there. Um, well played. That was a really good match. Um, well, we're only 
round 16 feels longer than that. Wow, I'm kind of stunned that I lost that. <sighs> so, let's see how much we lost. Hopefully it's not like 30. Hopefully it's only like in low 20s. That'd be good. Oh, not even 20. Only 19. Okay, so we can recover from that. Um, yeah, wait, so could I have prevented it? Yes, I could have if I put the Rot Eater on that middle row with it. But really, would it, was I going to think of that? I don't think so. There's, there's a lot of ways you could win. He'd seven roosters. You could have, other, you could have, you could have more ragged wolves and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, if I put another unit on this row, I definitely would have survived. Um, so, oh well. That was a really close match. Good match. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, remember to submit your top plays to me for Scrolls Top Plays of the Week. If I don't have enough submissions, if I just barely get any, I'm just going to, I'm not going to cancel the series, but if it doesn't come on like a Friday or something, just don't be alarmed. It probably just means I didn't have enough submissions for the week and like, I'll just put it off to the next week or something and just combine them, combine the two or something. So don't be alarmed for that. And if that happens, I'll probably just give the winner or the second place and third place, uh, um, plays just more gold. So yeah, uh, and it might be hard for me to make make one of the videos in the coming weeks. So it might be like a scrolls top plays of the past three weeks, the next one or something like that. But we'll see if if I get a ton of submissions, I'll definitely do it. Um, so thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate the video, uh, all that stuff, and I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, everybody.